good morning once again i am here on tau overflows for another topic काम सूत्र एंड विज्ञान भैरव तंत्र वट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन काम सूत्र एंड विज्ञान भैरव तंत्र आर दे सिमिलर और दे आर कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री और दे आर कॉन्ट्रोडिक्ट्री नंबर वन दे आर नॉट सिमिलर and as far as contradiction is concerned they are not contradictory instead they are complementary life is a continuation you start your life as a child and then you continue to grow through various stages so kama sutra is the beginning stage विज्ञान भैरव तंत्र इज द कंटिन्यूएशन इट इज द एडवांस इट इज द स्टेज आफ्टर दैट वंस यू क्रॉस ओवर चाइल्डहुड यू बिकम अ बॉय और अ गर्ल व्हेन दैट आउटग्रोज यू बिकम एन एडल्ट सो व्हेन यू हैव कंप्लीटली अंडरस्टूड काम सूत्र then you can enter into the realm of vigyan bhairav tantra as the name suggest kama sutra kama refers to all that relates to the is a very comprehensive world a broad world there are four purusharths of according to sanatan sanskriti arth finance dharma religion kama literally i would just use the word sex and moksha moksha is the result of all that when you have done your process it is like the taste in the food when you have used your ingredients properly you have known the entire process of cooking then the final products that comes in that you can say in this terminology as moksha the word has two separate words kama and sutra sutra means principles techniques for sex we think that we have born you are born with existential bio energy but there is a process you can say that i can cook but cooking another any dish requires a proper system it requires a balance between heat and your patience then there are other things that are required how you are cutting the vegetable you understand the nature of onion garlic and what is the taste of onion onion have a sweet taste garlic is pungent ginger has a different taste than garlic so how in what proportion to mix all this sex is a very comprehensive word this is existential bioenergy how this bioenergy operates through the various centers in us and just saying that i have become adult does not mean you know about sex you know about the body and not only the anatomy and physiology is important you have to understand the various movements that happen during the time of adolescent as a boy as a girl and its effect on the psychology kama sutra in detail sage vatsayana had explained many things the 
compatibility between male and female. Compatibility between the male genital organ and the female genital organ. The size, the depth, all these things have been explained into Kama Sutra. What one should do? Simple thing, kissing has been explained. How it should be done? What are the sensitive parts of the body, female body and male body? Touching those points, one gets more and more activated, stimulated. So all these details you require in the beginning. Because your journey has now begun, if you had it, you, if I put it this way, the Kama Sutra is studying up to the university level and you had gotten a master's degree or either in or medicine or any other discipline. After that, what you do comes within the domain of research. It is totally different. If I ask you during the act of sex, you have to be meditative, you find it difficult. So what it is, this comes a stage after, after you have finished your graduation, your master's, then you enter into research. And Vigyan Bhairav Tantra comes with three words, Vigyan, science. Science here means the scientific method, how to enter into anything scientifically. Then Bhairav means beyond, that which is beyond and which is beyond the mind. And Tantra is the technique, that which is beyond the body and mind. You look at this, Vigyan Bhairav Tantra, Shiva begins the dialogue, Devi is sitting on the lap of concert. The, it is the concert of Shiva. She is sitting on the lap of the Shiva. It's not that they are sitting undressed. Shiva is scantily dressed. Devi is dressed. She is sitting on his lap with her head bent. And with her head bent, what is she looking at? She looking at the glow, the aura at, of Shiva, his, her, his face. So there has to be lovingness. When your concert is sitting on your lap, the male has to be also very lovingness is important at that time you cannot be antagonistic or against. And nowhere in Vikyan Bhairav Tantra has mentioned anything about what has been discussed in Kama Sutra. Kama Sutra explains the type of female genital organ, the types of the size and the the types of male genital organs and the compatibility between the two. How one should perform into the act so that you can transcend and you can reach like you have graduated from the primary school then you entered into the, the high school. When you graduated from there you entered into the university when you graduated from the university, the bachelor's degree, then you entered into master's degree. When you graduated from the master's degree, you entered into post uh, the master's degree. You can enter into research to leading to PhD. When you finish that, then you can go into various other disciplines. But in order to do a specialization in the medical field or the field of any other discipline, whether it is engineering or any other, you have to cross the basic bachelor's degree. Once you have completed your bachelor's degree in medicine and surgery, only then you can enter into the specific discipline of a particular science, maybe the 
internal medicine, maybe cardiology, maybe psychiatry. So that is required. So if you do not know the anatomy, the complete understanding of male and female structure, how does a female think? How does a male think? What are the sensitive spots in a female body? What are the sensitive spots in a male body? If you do not know anything about your male body, you are simply prostituting. You are not entering into the realm of sex, which is how to utilize the existential bioenergy for tra this is here you are passing through the primary school, secondary school, college level, university and when you have graduated from the university then you enter the realm of Vijnana Bhairava Tantra. This is beyond the dimension of known and Shiva is explaining not Vatsayana is explaining Vijnana Bhairava Tantra. Vatsayana is a sage Shiva is the one there is the part of Trinity of the of according to Hindu Sanatan Sanskriti is the Trinity and the dance of Shiva is the dance of creation and destruction so he is the creation and destruction is in his hand Watson is simply understanding and through understanding you are going into the deeper stage of pleasure and if you have cooked your dish with all these things in balance the spices the salt the other ingredients and its appearance is very pleasant to the eyes firstly the the smell that comes in, that is nostrils, then the eyes look at it, then you get the taste. The same thing happens when you are understanding the Kama Sutra, what are the positions in which the sex can be more fulfilling, the penetration could be much easier. So it is like, first of all, it is pleasing to your nostrils, the smell of the spouse. Vasani speaks on that. Then the visual, the eyes, the eyes, the contact through the eyes. Not only eyes is looking, but eyes are making a contact with this between the spouse. When that contact is made, the words are not needed, then comes the taste how whatever you have understood the entire process how you are engaging in that when you have done this you have eaten properly then you can go in the other aspects so Vigyan Bhairava Tantra explains the different techniques 112 techniques of meditation these are the techniques of meditation is spoken by the the one who is responsible for creation and destruction both. Creation and destruction are two sides of the same coin. So whatever is con comes into existence must vanish. So if one stage comes in, it must vanish to give way to another. When you finish graduation in the uh, primary school, that has that was created, that creation became the destruction, then another stage began. So when you enter into Vijnana Bhairava Tantra, you are going systematically. Then he tells the, you know, the Devi asks, what is thy reality? What is thy reality? Whose reality? One who is the one who is the symbol of creation and destruction both. What is thy reality? She is not asking the Shiva's reality. She is asking the nature of Shiva's creativity. What is the nature of thy creativity? What is the, thy nature of thy destruction? It is the destruction which we see in the wars. 
are to continue the process of creation. When you create a dish and you are a master chef, you are creating dish with so many things in mind. So she asks, what is thy reality? What is the nature that you enter into the realm of creativity and the destruction so that the process of transformation continues? For process of transformation and transcendence, creation and destruction both are necessary. They are two sides of the same coin. You cannot simply go on creating and creating or destroying, destroying and destroying. Both have to happen simultaneously. Then what is this wonderful universe? A universe is not that. Every individual carries a universe within him or her. What is this wonderful universe that you are? What is this wonderful universe that I am in? Because you are the miniature, the micro cosmos. Whatsoever is there in the cosmos in miniature form is there in you as well. So it has to be, do you understand the my cosmic reality? You are exploring, but yet not understood it. Have I known your cosmic reality? What is this wonderful reality that you are? What is this wonderful reality that he is? What is this wonderful reality that is the embodiment in this form, in this person? This person is the embodiment of wonderful universe. What is the reality of this person who is wonderful universe? They be asked those questions. These questions are personal questions. Just as you had asked in your journey personal questions. The nature of all your questions that you had asked were personal in nature, very personal, related to your cosmos. And when the journey began, then I mentioned it to you that give it a cosmic form, that it can, that it has the, the seeds for help to others. The experience of one can become helpful, a guidance to the other. Whatever my experience is, in understanding the, the sutras of Kama Sutra, Vatsayan and Vigyan Bhairav Tantra, I am sharing with each one of you. So you can build your journey on my experiences. And I have built, I have gained these experiences on my own. But you have a base from where you can take a jump, like a, a person taking a jump into the swimming pool. He takes a jumping board. So a master is a jumping board. Vigyan Bhairav Tantra and the experience of Shiva comes like a jumping board for you to enter into the realm. There are total 114 chakras in a human body. Out of these, 112 you attain. You work on those 112 techniques. And then out of that, the two comes to you as a bonus. Out of these, 108 are important. 108 is galactic number of this existence of this cosmos. Why 108? When it reduces to one number, it becomes nine. It is considered as a perfect number. The distance between the earth, you are an earth element. And in you, there is a moon element, which is your mind. And there is 
heart which is this sun element. So distance between the earth center and the, the earth and the moon when it is divided by the number, the diameter of the moon, you get the number 108. And when you divide the distance between earth and the sun by the diameter of sun, you get the number 108. So you have a moon in you, which is mind, which continues to wane, goes through various moods, like the waning of the moon. Then you are the soul in you, the soul which is the, what is the center in you? You, the heart is the center, but the journey has to begin from the sex center in you. When the journey begins from the sex center, then finally heart becomes center of, because you have to, how the sun can become the center, then you start your journey from earth towards the moon. Then moon becomes, everything revolves around the moon. But until that happened, you have not left the soul, the base center, the earth center. So how can the moon, the sun or the moon become the center of your inner universe? That's why 108. So in order to move from the moon, which is mind, to reach to the heart, or from the earth center to the heart center, you need 108 number. 108 techniques to move from heart, the earth center to the heart center. You have to move from the base center, which is your sex center, to the heart center. And you have to move from your mind center to the heart center also. Both requires 108 numbers. Kama Sutra is journey from the base center, earth center to the heart center. And Vigyan Bhairav Tantra is the journey from the mind to the heart center. And both requires, there are 108 techniques. You, and the four are not that important. If you complete 108, two happens on its own. The four happens on its own. So in reality, out of 114, two lie on the periphery beginning and the end. Then four, you do not have to work on your own. Once you work on 108 techniques, then the four happens naturally to you. So 112. The 112 is the total number of techniques. This is mystical, not just fad. Why the Hindus have used 108? Sanatan Sanskriti use 108 techniques because 108 is the galactic number in the cosmos. So you have your inner cosmos. So 108 is very important in order to journey from earth center to the heart center, you need Kama Sutra, understand in its fine fineness, in its total details. And then, and only then when you have reached the heart center, then from the above, the grace, the mind reaches the heart center as well. And then finally, the heart becomes your center of your inner universe, inner cosmos. So this is just an introduction to what is the difference between a Kama Sutra and Vikyan Bhairav Tantra. I am explaining this to you on the basis of my experience. I have not seen any talk on this topic, but on the basis so whatever I am speaking, this becomes a jumping board for you. For those who want to enter into 
within their own realm, it is for them. So only this much for this morning. So tomorrow morning we will have another session because right now the person who is responsible for all these recordings is visiting here and it is my special privilege and that of all the persons that she has taken efforts, Nivedita Rimba, who is the author of the books, who is the person behind all these videos, bringing it in such a format that becomes very easy and and appealing to the people. So only this much for this morning. So tomorrow we will have again one two. After that, depending on how the situation goes, at least once per week, topics like these will be discussed. There are many questions which have been asked by the seekers. And if you have any question, you can send it to me on WhatsApp or on my Facebook page and I will build a topic around that for the benefit of humanity. The question is yours, but the subject matter will be created around that question for the benefit of entire humanity. So bye. Until then, we meet again. Take care and do have a pleasant day. Thank you.